Hello guys, Rosenberg here again, and today I'm going to be changing uh, the high pressure uh, line for steering wheel or steering system. Um, and mine's leaking right here and right there in that clamp. I don't even know why that clamp is there, but it's leaking right there and it's coming out of here as well. So it is a little tricky to do i have seen some other videos that say it's really hard but uh not so far i've been losing everything and i think it's good so far so first we got to take these two out of here uh there's these are two 10 millimeters and then there's another bracket right there i already took the bolt out but it's the black bracket holding that bolt so you take that those two you take these two and you pull this out i'll show you in a second and then you go here this is the tricky part and you got to take if you look down there you kind of see it leaking already i'll point with my wrench here but that's the line it's that one right there the one i'm pointing at this right here that's the one you gotta get to it's a little pain in the ass because it's got no no uh, really access to it and I'll show you pretty much where it is. It's hiding back there. So this is where it is. You go through here and it's right down there again. What I did is I just use a 19 millimeter crowfoot uh, wrench. It's kind of the only easy way to get in there. Uh, if you get in with the wrench, you can't really go in and, and, and turn because there's no, there's no space there to turn it. But this this worked great for me. It was a little tight, but I got it loose. And uh, so all you do is you take that out, take that bracket, that bracket right there, and then there's another one underneath. I'll show you in a second. But yeah, so that's what you do so far. So once you remove that line here, like I said, these you take these two bolts out out of here. You remove the line. Make sure. You clean all of this real good before you put the the uh, other one back on. And um, I'm gonna flush the fluid. And you guys um, might not need to, but my fluid it's pretty dark, as you can see there, or you can see in the reservoir there. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Um, Change this, I'll put this line back here and then as you see I removed the one from down here already. As you can see I just have a rag over it so there's not a whole lot spilling out. But yeah, so I removed the line from right there and then there's a bracket that's really hard to get. It's that one right sorry guys there's just really no space to do nothing here but if you see the whitish uh almost zip tie looking thing there that's where the bracket goes it's a, a plastic uh, plastic going into a steel bracket and that bracket goes into this rubber piece then you got to take from the old one i had to cut it out because it was all one piece so then it goes somewhere in here this one then you put it back into the bracket and then this other one it goes i'm gonna have to feed it through the top is a rubbery one it's pretty it's pretty uh uh spongy or it, it stretches so i'll pull it through here and then we'll leave it around here to put it on the other bracket that I showed you guys in the beginning, um, where this goes, uh, the one that ties right into the the back here, right there, it's a it's a steel bracket, and uh, so once you guys put this back on the on the hose, I will soon here. Sorry for the short little video here, but this is it's simple. It's just a little bit of a of a pain to get to. Um, once you put this in here, put back your steel bracket, you gotta take your sensor off from your old line. It'd be a little pain uh, in the butt because this here, there's almost no space. You'll need a 17 mil 
to get into here. Uh, luckily, the set that I bought is pretty thin, but my other wrenches wouldn't fit in here. So you would either need to grind down a wrench or somehow so that your wrench can fit between this and this here. So I already put my new one. Make sure you guys do change your O-ring. Uh, my kit or most of the kits would come with a new O-ring for here. And for this part here, I already put mine on. And then before you guys put this back on there, I would put some um, some of the actual fluid there to lubricate it a little bit for when you put it back. And then this I got, it's a little bit different than then the one is a different size, which is going to suck to put it back on, but uh, it's a little different. It's copper, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it won't rust. Uh, then, so once you guys put the line back up, it's just pretty much a reverse, uh, reverse pretty much everything. Put the, uh, uh, fit the line through here, through this area all the way down into where we loosen it and then tie this up uh, make sure you put some of the oil on the o-ring before you push that down uh, put the bracket there put that other bracket that i showed you guys that's back there uh, tie that real good tie this real good fill this up again i'm gonna flush it but fill that back up again turn the truck on and then turn the wheel both ways maybe twice or three times and that should uh, take all the air bubbles out of the system and that should be it sometimes if your guys' line is not leaking uh this line and you hear some whining from the pump it's an o-ring that uh, goes uh into this feeding line that goes into the reservoir and you, all you do is you take a bolt that it's right under here take this out change that o-ring it's like a four dollar o-ring four three dollars in canada change that because that wears out that lets air into the pump and it'll make a whining noise if you don't have a leak anywhere that'd be the problem of a whining before you go and change the pumps a lot of the times it's just that o-ring wears out uh, change the o-ring put that back in and if you need to add fluid add fluid and the whining should go away after you drive it or turn the wheel a couple of times both sides um, uh, mine it's got a lot of fluid everywhere so i'm gonna have to get some brake fluid to clean all that out because it's been leaking for a while and I had no other vehicle, so I had to put fluid on and go until I had my part to come in. I ordered my part from uh, Rock Auto. Uh, I like Rock Auto because it ships stuff really quick to Canada. Uh, I imagine it'd be the same in the States. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Put the bolts back on. Make sure you grab your bracket. Well, put your bolt back on there. And tight everything up. Put fluid up and run it up. Thanks for following and sorry for the little short video this is clean mats i only have one hand here my helper is not usually with me or is not with me uh, sometimes i have seen other videos or other people that like to take this off to have a little better access but i think it doesn't really help because there's more stuff in the way here if you take this off it ain't really gonna help you a whole lot um all i did is i moved this to the side because i scratched my hand a couple of times with that and make sure you put it back onto the right way before and that is it guys this is a 2007 honda rich line but uh, i'm pretty sure it's the same on on pilots and honda minivans or vans and most of the vehicles are uh, honda vehicles are about the same i think from 2006 to 2012 they're all about the same i'm, I'm i might be wrong on that but most of them uh it's the same idea um to just change the your pressure line uh, once I put it back on, I'll show you guys how it looks and we'll, we'll be good to go.